Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. So guys, in today's tutorial, we will quickly learn how to easily create wall clad cladding uh, in FreeCAD using BIM Workbench, right? And we'll also try to utilize part workbench a bit of it. It's so like, uh, it's a quite easy way uh, with which like you can create your wall cladding easily and quickly. Uh, and it basically attaches with the wall object very nicely so as I can quickly show you like this is the wall and let's say we try to just change the length like this right and we just refresh so you see the wall has changed and along with that your wall cladding has also basically being traced down or you can say elongated or basically moved with your base wall object right guys so let's quickly learn like it's a very simple approach so we'll start by creating a new file and let's make sure we are inside the Bing workbench okay so now let's let us just quickly try to create a wall right so this is our base sketch for the wall now from this wire or the sketch uh, let's say we quickly create a wall object right guys now what we will do is uh, <coughs> we will try to create uh, the cladding profile right which we will then sweep through the wall so how you can do that quickly is let's say you just select any of the cross section of this wall which is like this face right and then uh, choose this option current working plane and now this working plane is automatically shifted to that particular face of the wall and now from this face or this working plane quickly create a new sketch from this option in the beam workbench right so this is the profile which you have got now let's say what we can do is uh, we can take the reference of this wall edge for drawing our sketch so click on this uh, create external geometry and create a uh, click on this line right any of one of the edge of your wall and now <coughs> here we will try to draft our profile of the cladding so how you can do that is select a poly line firstly we will create the base uh, sketch of the profile and now we'll make some extrusions so let's say something around this uh, let's give this dimension around let's say 4 inches right and now from here let's draw something like this okay and then let's just make an internal curve like this one let's make so profile can be in any shape or manner as per your own desire right guys if in case you have any appropriate dimensions feel free to use let's make this length and this length has equal by selecting both of them and then selecting on the constraint equal <coughs> so this is 4 inches and the below one is also now 4 inches let's make these edges equal just for example sake right if in case you have different uh, then you can use the different uh, dimensions let us just give dimension to this edge for something around let's say so as these all are equal so whatever we have got on the screen should be fine so this is fine and uh, these lengths also you have got constraints so now your sketch is fully constrained guys right so now what you can do is you can exit the sketch uh, right so this is the profile which you have got for the sketch right guys now what we will do is we will go to part workbench right and there we have this option to 
sweep we'll select this right and the profile that we want to sweep is our sketch we will move it to selected profiles so after setting the profile you have the option to basically sweep the path so click on this option and then simply by hit a uh, holding control key select all the edges of the wall right guys and then click on done and click on create solid because we want this cladding to be solid uh, make sure frenet option is also selected so that your file extrusion or the sweep is not distorted now simply click on ok right so now basically you have got <coughs> the profile uh, for your cladding object uh, right uh, if we click on the sweep you can say the spine is basically the wall edges right uh, I'll just show you one thing quickly we go to BIM workbench <coughs> let's make sure the top view is selected right and now from this top view let's try to basically change uh, the wire orientation let's say something like this click close we hit refresh right so you can see uh, your cladding is basically moving with your wall object so let's make it change again something like this click refresh ok now what you can do is to the sweep object you can make structure anything like that simply click on this wall object so that this cladding is also like should start to behave right uh, as a wall object only now what you can do is we can give uh, individual colors let's switch to perspective view we can give individual colors to the faces of this cladding right so what you can do for that is click on this wall object right click on it and then you have option of set appearance per face select this option uh, select the faces uh, let's say these top faces let's say we want to give the color of plaster right the middle faces let's say we want to give the color of stone you can set custom colors also for the bottom one let's choose something like uh, no this is not good let's give you some better color basically right this should be fine for now so this is how like you can give the colors to your section profiles also let me just switch to no shading right in case you want to give color to the cross section also you can choose to choose it from here right you can also choose a top profile so let's just choose the option again set appearance per face let's use this section hit control hold control key and let's choose this one also right and then we have the section on the other side also basically this one like this right so let's say we want to give the color to this one as stone right so this is how you can give custom colors and now you've got beautiful cladding which is tracing along your wall object right so this was it guys basically quickly for today's tutorial uh, I hope you like it let me know with your comments in case you want to learn something else feel free to give the suggestions right and in case you find the videos helpful feel free to buy me a coffee uh, uh, right there's a link in the description so see you in the next video till then take care goodbye thank you so much